case anything moves and stuff like that, I've been putting this thing just to one edge so I can come back and make sure I can get right back to the exact spot again with it. And I've just been bringing my board over to it. You can set it in any place you want to. Those clamps for all you need? That's all I'm going to need. I need to do something else. That table, when I first started doing things, I found out it's not exactly flat. This table came from Rockler pre-drilled with the holes that these screws go into. But apparently on that side, this board sits down lower than it does on this side. And if you look at this, you can tell this is sticking up a little bit higher here from here than this side is. Can you see that? But I found out by going through and checking things that it's five business cards lower on this side. So what I have to do is raise this side up. It's not hard to find out if you, if you were going to put something in here and you didn't know exactly what to go with it. Did you try to square it first or did you just notice it? Nah, when I first started doing the, the very first one, it was cutting deeper on one side than it was cutting on the other side. So what I did, I came back with my uh, zeroing spot. I zeroed it to this side. I brought it over here. Left it at the same height. I just ran my uh, x-axis across and I started feeding business cards into it until it got back up to where it was and it happened to work out to five. <laughs> so then I knew I needed five business cards to hold this side up so it's level with that one. I could go play with this thing, probably take out the holes, fill them full of toothpicks, redrill the holes. Yeah. Right. Can't you trim underneath that angle line where, it, where it's on that plastic? I could probably do that also. I'd have to, have to put something in it. Thing. But yeah, if you were going to do it, you bring your top, bring your tip down to this side over here, then right over here to see what you need. Go back there, do the same thing with it. You, know, and you could also check from front to rear to see if it was reading the same thing. I didn't find any differences in a board this long from here to here, though. And that's the first thing, just like anything, you got to check the export. got to check it. You're checking, making sure everything is set right to start with. I'm going to put myself a little pinpoint down here. <coughs> right down here. See, this is our edge of our board. Remember how I had this thing set up before, and that thing would show you where you'd start your zero, zero? We're going to set that up as our zero, zero, zero. Why do you got to have a pin marker? So you know where to set it to. All right, first thing I'm going to do is put in a straight pin. What we're going to do is cut out that little pocket. And uh, like this thing right here is what we're going to do. We're going to, cut, we're going to cut out this pocket in this thing, like this. And then we're going to put then we're going to put in the round over bit and do this part of it just to show you how it's done. On this router, it's a variable speed router. You roll, it's got a roll on the top of this thing, change your speed on it. Right now, I've got this thing set at about four and a half. I forget what it says. It's in the book. It's about sixteen thousand RPM, but it goes up to about twenty-two, down to about fourteen. So right now I can't get in here to work with it, so I need to raise this thing up in the air. Back to that pin mark. Like you, ch I mean, uh, Chris always says it ain't got eyes. Is that when there's a pin mark on it? Mm -hmm. Does that know that there's a pin mark on it in that corner? It will when I tell it. Is that right? Not yet, it doesn't know. Oh, what happened? I lost my communication somehow or other. What Now I can get under here. This router right here has a push button on the side of it, and that's your lock. And you're going to lock this thing. 
So I put my bid in, it was partially tightened, holding the button in, tighten it up. Now we're going to bring this up here and zero it to this spot. When you zero it, you're going to use a plain piece of paper. You're supposed to set it off the thickness of a piece of paper off the top of this. And to do that, I gotta have to bring this thing out of here. sideways, kitty corners, so I can run right, right up and down the side of the board. Long side of the board? Well, I want it right on that, right on that dot, the center of my bit, what I want on that dot. And now I need to go to the slow mode. Moving it too fast to be able to control it now. And that looks just about where I want it, all except for the X. The, the Z, I mean. How you made it cut deeper, you put some more pieces of paper in there, huh? No. Same all right. Now that I've, I did all that, I've got a thing over here that says X, Y, Z, zero. I come over here and I tell this and watch all these go to zero. See, that's the way it knows. Now that's the zero spot for everything, all right? We're going to go back out to the G code. I'm going to turn the router on and start routing. You gotta physically manually turn the router on. Lost your Chico. All right, what's going on here? You're not space. Try it again. 